Before we begin, just a reminder that the link to our Discord server is in the description below. We look forward to seeing you there. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, thanks What's for up? thanks for uh, watching. We have a very special guest today, John Silva. Um, we were just kind of talking earlier about uh, how I, clap. I'm, I'm the weird guy that, you know, has been staring outside his window at him since 2014, because he's had such awesome work. And... Uh, we thought it would be a good opportunity to have him, you know, on the channel and do a little interview with him and, you know, just pick his brain about his work and his, you know, life, life and his journey and, things you know, he's doing. yeah, things he's doing. So thanks like, for coming on. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, uh, I'm, I'm John Silva and let it be on record here that I'm pressing charges for staying outside for, for years looking down my window and uh, i i do appreciate the kind words and uh, uh and and reaching out to me hi hi see so this is exactly what i was telling derek in the car ride uh, back to my place um that like you're the kind of guy that is like a genuinely friendly artist yeah. and not to say that you know nobody else is friendly but i just remember you know reaching right out to you and you instantly messaged me back and we're like hey man i i really appreciate the kind words and i think um, having that kind of personality is super important yeah. in our industry because it just like opens the doorway to things. And also, you know, nobody, you know, wants to, nobody wants to work with somebody that's not a nice guy yeah. at the end of the day. In any, any industry. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I guess kind of what we wanted to ask you about is like how you got into the industry and uh, like kind of your journey and what um, what you did to get where you're at. And I'm, I'm kind of assuming a lot of it has to do with your personality and just being, uh, being able to put yourself out there, um, and, you know, talk to people and stuff like that. Hmm. That's, that's, that's it's kind of a loaded question. One I know. question. It's, it's a loaded question. Um, okay. Let's start from the beginning. First of all, I wouldn't consider myself friendly. I think it's more like I, I keep doing reality checks on myself mm. um, thanks to other people that I will mention eventually throughout the, the um, interview here because it's impossible to not talk about other people when it comes to your own growth as a person. But yeah. we're just, we just paint. You know what I mean? Like yeah. no matter what what you achieved, no matter what you have done in this industry, even though it will be well respected, you're just a guy anyway, you know, we all, you know, we, we're all just dudes <laughs> and do that for that matter. So it's kind of, it's kind of like that. I, I hate, and I've gone through this, by the way, for, for the records, I, I had moments where I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Oh, wait, can I swear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> totally I, I should, I should, totally I, I should have uh, uh, asked before. We actually bleep I... out everything you say and only leave in the cuss words. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is perfect. Perfect interview. The best one I've had so far. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of like just go outside and ask who John Silva is. Obviously, they will know, but uh, the point is, I don't let it get to my head. Sure. <clears throat> Uh, when it comes to, yeah, so I don't think I'm friendly. I'm just, if you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. If you're, you know, if you're not, then I'll just disregard you uh, because so I have not, I have indeed not answered messages in the past. If it's just like, hi, John, do you, uh, can, can, uh, not even a hi sometimes, uh, can you critique my, um, uh, my work? Mm. I would have, yeah. if you said, hello, how are you yep. doing? Even if it's not heartfelt and then I ignore them. Yeah. So I'm. So, I think I think I'm just normal. I so more or less, though, it's it's like you're you're appreciative when when people you know reach out to you and are friendly to you. Mutual respect. I mutual think. respect. Yeah. yeah. You don't even have to be uh, exactly. It, it's not about being friendly. It's about what you just said. Respect. You don't mm -hmm. have to be sm like smiley face. Uh, use a smiley face as as a space between each words. You just have to. <laughs> be respectful that, you that's know, someone like, you ignore too yeah <laughs> yeah that, that's probably like on the socio uh, path uh, yeah. <laughs> that we don't want to talk to right. but um okay let me see so how when i started um i actually okay let me think here 
choosing my words very carefully. Uh, um, so when did, I guess, when did you start working professionally? Like, um, was it around, uh, I, I, how long have you been working professionally? How many years would you say? About seven, seven years. I think it was my, my first published thing was 2000 and late 2010. Gotcha. Um, and that was for AEG, which stands for Alderac Entertainment Games. They did a, a, a big hard game. Well, big, big at, at the time, which was, um, forgot the name, something of the, like, Something of the legends as well, by the way. <laughs> it was oh, another wait, I think legends I game. Legend legends of the of Five the Rings. Oh, I just oh, remember gotcha, now. Gotcha. Legend okay. of the Five Rings. I remember now. Uh, he, they did that. And I did a couple of stuff, a couple of cards for them, and I, I was super stoked. Uh, but before that, I, I do need to mention. I don't know if it's going to be a positive thing or a bad thing, but I started doing arts, not purely because I loved doing art. <laughs> mm. It was more of a, I always liked drawing like everyone else. And maybe I was, maybe be more than, than your regular person. And I was like an art guy. I was an art music guy. Hmm. Uh, That's interesting. What in, instrument in did you play? School. I played a little bit of like the usual, like guitar, bass, yeah. a little bit of drums. This guy's a yeah, um, guitar yeah, you can guy. Kind of see the hell yeah <laughs> and uh also uh, my main thing was singing and blah, blah, blah. yeah yeah that's awesome. where i thought i was gonna go uh by the way it's actually really interesting yeah yeah i don't know that's, if i've that's... talked to many artists that thought they were gonna go the music route first yeah yeah i, I was already in the music route and then situation oh. happens where um i don't have access like i moved countries uh from portugal to ireland and oh, wow. whatever work I was doing in Portugal or starting to do was gone and the band and everything else because I was young. I was I was 16, 17, something like that. And I had to move because of my parents. Um, I am 27 now. I know whoever is listening, I sound super young, <laughs> but <laughs> and I look super young, but I, I have indeed age. I like to tell people that I just... Uh, I drank Keanu Reeves' blood because yeah. he never ages as well. So, um, Hopefully you get some of those John Wick powers with that. Yeah, right? No, oh, oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I found DeviantArt mm. uh, at a convention uh, in, in Dublin. I mm. went to oh, a convention awesome. and there was like a girl doing like chibi stuff and she would draw like a chibi for, for, for three euro. And I remember paying three euro. And I'm like, blo mind blown. Like you can draw this like right in front of me. What the hell? Like, where, where can I see more of your work? Like, how can I find you? And she's like, DeviantArt. I'm like, oh, what the hell is that? DeviantArt? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and she's like, it's a website, write it down. And I wrote it down. And then uh, I knew what uh, DeviantArt since then, but I mm -hmm. wasn't really aware that people could make money out of it. Uh, you fast forward a couple of years later, um, I'm in Poland and I'm in a situation where, uh, well, a bit exaggerated, but do or die kind of situation. I have to make sure. a, a decision in my life right. where, what, what to do. Uh, do I work at McDonald's or Take the do risk. something, some physical work. I can't do music because I, I like, I don't have nothing. I don't have a lap. I, I did have a laptop. I did get a laptop, but it was too shitty to, to make anything. And at the time, um, I didn't even knew you could make everything from scratch. Like nowadays, you can just have a software and have a whole band in that software. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, what are my options? I keep thinking. And one day, I just I'm, I I still draw, or more like copy. Uh, one thing I love to do was just copy Dragon Ball manga oh, yeah. pages. Like I, I I legit did most of Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, like yeah. the, the first Dragon Ball. I copied the, all of the pages uh, when I was a kid. Uh, so but that's all I was really yeah. good at copying. 
Like if you would if you were to ask me, hey John, draw me draw me like something else that's not Dragon Ball related, like I don't know, fucking yeah. robots <laughs> in the sky shooting down, I don't know, a gallon of milk. I don't know, something random, I right. wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, not even anything simple. So I went yeah. to DeviantArt and I I till today I remember the guy that um I read his post and it says commissioned by blah blah blah. I'm like, huh. commission? What do you mean? Like you get paid? <laughs> you got paid to do this? What do you mean? So I messaged the guy. Uh uh, I believe his name is W R and then there's a dash junior or, hmm. or, or Jen. I know he, he's kind of popular. Okay. Uh, we'll look him up. Uh, and he's, he's mainly like a, he does a blend of 3d and 2d. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. he, I think he like usually does 3d and then uses Photoshop to like make it better. Um, and, uh, I messaged a guy, I messaged actually quite a few people, but he was him and another guy were the only ones who messaged me back. Hmm. Sure. That's part of the reason why whenever I get a message from anyone, even if I'm busy, I try to reply uh, as soon as I can because yeah, that kind of changed how I looked at at art and and what I could do with my life. Sure. Um, and then he told me, "Oh yeah, like you can get paid." And he gave me some rates depending on what it is. Like I don't remember the the numbers, but I remember it was quite low compared to today. I, I must say. Yeah rates from the past versus now there is uh, a nice difference yeah right it's still not f i still don't consider it fair i think people right. should get paid more but by comparison at least there is a significant evolution sure so did you did you ever um take on free work at that time yes yeah how do you feel that about was, that was that that was that was bad um yeah. so i did free work first because i'm like okay i'm just gonna pretend this is like any other job like uh sometimes you get you know you have to work a little bit for free and then you get hired to a full-time position or part-time blah 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 i'm just sure. gonna take it like that and i've done a few um two of them I, I i've done a few like completely random stuff it's still art related but like i did photo book covers where you take photos and you just kind of like make a book cover out of that. I've done um, UI design, pixel art, mm. uh, animation. I actually love animation. Really, really do. Mm. Not for work, but for myself. I think huh. that it's really, really cool. Same with pixel art. Um, I hate working with that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, I've done a little bit of everything besides coding. Um, sure. So... And then I was in two uh, long-term projects um, where I did a lot of concepts for games that didn't go anywhere. One yep. of them, actually, the guy ran away with the whole project. And I met a couple really? of people that I still talk to. Yeah. Uh, wow. I'm not going to mention names, but I, sure. I met some people who are you know, now professionals who were in there, too. Wow. <laughs> and they're doing well. We've had similar well experiences now. as well. Yep. Yeah, we worked on a project together that it was a game. Thing happened. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. The guy, I think he sold it to Microsoft or something like that, and oh just poof, God. disappeared. No more work. Uh, and, just gone like. And that. I assume you didn't have like some sort of contract <laughs> or something to. We had a out. contract, but it means, uh, to be honest, I have no money to even put. I had no money to put someone uh, to on a lawyer. Legal defense. You know, like, on a trial to pursue that. Sure. Yeah. So I was just super depressed. Uh, oh, so man. two times that kind of happened. Mm -hmm. uh, the second time was worse than the first one, but both were bad for someone who's like trying to break in, and I don't know what to do really. Um, so, so what mentally got you past that hump when you're like, man, I just got screwed out of something I worked so hard on twice, twice, and and I I still want to pursue this this dream of becoming you know professional artist. Mm, two two reasons. One, uh, I still didn't have a choice. It to my eyes, mm -hmm. I was like, "Well, I just I was super depressed, and I I I I said I was going to quit. I I legit 
put the foot down, I'm like, it's over. Yeah. But that lasted for a day. Uh, this is yeah. the first reason. Second reason is my fiance, because uh, I started this whole thing uh, while she's uh, in my life. She, till today, we're together for almost 10 years. That's great. And uh, And having someone, I'm not saying an actual partner, it could be a friend, even as small as it is, like just have someone that can kind of like see things beyond you know, your depression and be like, sure. listen, it's not your fault, et cetera, et cetera. You know, the, the whole nine yards, uh, when you're yeah. trying to show someone that, well, it was not your fault, right? Sure. I was stupid for believing it, right? But it yeah. was the, 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 the first and second time were different than, than each other and they had different red flags. So I couldn't see it coming up on the second one. Yeah. So it, was, it wasn't it wasn't a situation where oh I learned from first time now I can avoid the second time. No, right. it was it was much different, but it still happened. And uh, regardless, I believe that I would have made up my mind anyway. Back, I'm like I can't I can't just do anything else. I, I just have to do this, whether I like it or not. So I, that's why I kind of don't. <laughs> I, I'm always afraid of telling a little bit of my story because it comes from an quote unquote impure place where right. everyone's like, I love drawing. Oh, yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't see myself do anything else. Let it be clear. I could. Yeah. <laughs> I could true. very well see myself do other stuff, but yeah. I do love drawing. I can I, definitely identify with you with that. Um, it's one of those things where. I, I, I feel that wholeheartedly, whereas I love drawing, but I, that resonates so well where you're like, it almost comes from an impure place because you can do so many other things. And Well, it makes you feel guilty at a certain point yeah. too, because you know, you're good at it and yeah. you're like, why am I so good at this thing? But I don't necessarily love to wake up and do it every single day. Yeah. And, and other people are telling you too, like, oh, you're so lucky. You know, you get to wake up and draw all day. And it's like, well, you know, it's just because I kind of have to. Right. And, you know, like you said, you don't have any other options. Um, and it's just fascinating to me because, like, both Derek and I had a had a major transformation over the past year where we both thought we were going – like, Derek was thinking of going more into the comic book sort of field. And not that he's not interested in that. Yeah. I also thought I was going more into concept art and illustration and – getting that job at the studio kind of thing. But now kind of what we're finding is like, not only are we becoming more entrepreneurial, but also I, I've found a love for game development. So I can still do my art in the game that I'm developing and, you know, lend my talent or whatever, my skills to that aspect of the game. But I just love, you know, the world building and the, and the, you know, uh, designing and stuff like that. So um, what, what is, at this point with what you're doing, what's kind of keeping you with sticking to like the illustrations and the, and, and that sort of route you're, you're taking now, now that you're like established. Mm, I was never always into the same thing. Uh, I also changed first. I thought I was going to be the concept artist. Sure. That's where I was, uh, you know, not not leaning, but I was like full full head on concept art because I found about conceptart.org mm -hmm. uh, back in the days when it was almost dying, but it was yeah. still the golden <laughs> times. We still the golden times was slowly dying. Yeah. Had a couple of uh, months left. Um, so you're able to squeeze it out. <laughs> I was able to find out about Crimson Daggers. So I think in most of my interviews, I, I do mention this because it was thanks to Dave Raposa, actually, mm. that I, I took a better path. I knew how to be better as an artist thanks to his live streams. And, and mm. I was extremely grateful that he spent a lot of his time uh, you know, like messaging privately and like helping probably not just me but other people out but i know we we talked a lot and uh 
poor, poor him. I <laughs> complained a lot about stuff <laughs> too, and and I just couldn't understand when he would, would explain me something. But that's that's how it goes. So you had a good uh, mentor. I just, yeah, I, I I would consider he's the closest thing to a mentor than than anything else. I wouldn't say exactly a mentor, but definitely like a very very a guiding solid light. guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, we always um, try to advocate for people, you know, obtaining and growing a group of art friends. That's why we're, you know, doing this Discord channel in the first place. And and you just said it yourself, like the, the reason you even got into this was because you took that chance and were like brave and reached out to these random people on DeviantArt just to pick their brains. And I mean, that's what we did to you to, you know, do, do this right now. We, right. we liked your work and we wanted to learn more about you. So we figured other people would definitely want to learn more about you and would like your work as well. So, so I think it's yeah. really important to like sometimes, you know, even if it's outside your comfort zone, again, be respectful, like we talked about before, but to make sure that you're networking with people because you never really know who you're going to end up talking to. And even people that you think might not you know, be able to help you out at the end of the day may have some sort of reference or advice that just sticks in your head. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that 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 is a big one. Uh, in fact, uh, anyone who might be listening who's starting up or you've been doing it already for a while, but you feel like you're stuck, it's really good to message uh, big artists, but um, most of your progress will be enhanced by people who are in a similar place in life and yeah. and art. Like those are the people you who you really actually want to make a connection because you're going to grow with them. And you don't know years down the line how good someone is, is going to be. By the way, uh, sure. it kind of sounds like, oh, you should be friends with someone because they might succeed and, <laughs> no, no, and bring no. you in. No, no yeah. I mean, yeah, like see. they can... They can learn something as as they're figuring it out, share with you, and because you're in the same place, you can figure it out uh, easier because you're at the same level. Right. Uh, a lot of the times when Dave was explaining things to me, he he was so ahead of everyone I knew mm -hmm. that only like a year later, I remember having a conversation with him. I'm like, oh, shit. I thought he meant this, but actually that's not at all what it was. It was something else. Yeah. With click finally. Uh, that final click. Yeah. So definitely like reach out to 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 professionals, uh, pick their brain, uh, definitely and and ask questions if they have time and let it sit. That's sure. that's the best I can uh, basically explain it and make friends that are in the same level as you or maybe not like to a head or or um, anything like that. Definitely anyone who is worse than you, even a little bit or clearly worse than you, uh, bring them up because mm -hmm. um, teaching, even at whatever level you're at, teaching is the best way to learn, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the things I realized doing, uh, I started streaming as well because of Dave. And then Warren, because then did uh, did it after Dave, and um, excuse me, and uh, I was like, you know what? I'm a nobody. No one, no one cares about me. I'm I'm gonna stream too. And eventually, I had one or two people back in the day, and we would talk. And people who were, even though I was really bad, people who were, you know, <laughs> even I don't think uh, you're ever really bad. <laughs> arguably arguably worse than me um like i would try to figure out like okay how can i give a little bit of guidance to this person without you know make making a statement and as you sure. as you do that um you learn about yourself and sometimes you say stuff they're like why don't i do that yeah right you yep. give like advice to other people i'm like hold on i should do this yeah <laughs> Yeah, you could be analyzing something in somebody else's work that you're you feel like you're neglecting in your own work. Like yeah. you know, you're maybe like, oh man, this guy's drawing hands really poorly. Man, man, maybe I'm drawing hands really poorly too. <laughs> I should revisit that. And um, yeah. kind of just bouncing off of what you were saying as well. It's it's. Uh, remember when you were like, 
you know, I don't want to make it sound like you want to make friends just to, you know, use them sort of thing. But at the end of the day, I think it's okay as long as you pay it forward, like you're saying, teaching and, you know, helping others down the line with the knowledge that you've, you've obtained. Because, you know, once you kind of make it, you know, the people that are lower than you aren't necessarily your competition. So helping them isn't hurting you in any way. It's only helping them. Right. So mm -hmm. um, I, I really think that's important as well. So one last thing is, um, I'm not saying you're saying this, but what, one thing I've been learning more and more as time goes by is that there's really no one lower than you mm -hmm. when it comes to um, idea, like generating ideas and as a person, obviously uh, skills. Yeah. Like fundamental skills, sure. obviously, but uh, I feel like people put way too much focus and this ties in with the conversation uh, or the, the question you asked me, what keeps me going right now mm -hmm. uh, and doing what I do. Um, it does come in full circle where when you, uh, I'm trying to fi find a way to make this, this conversation a little shorter because it's going to be long winded. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> Basically, there is clear differences in fundamentals, but someone can actually be arguably better than you. So you think someone might be worse than you, but they really aren't. They are kill-wise, could have poor um, fundamentals, and mm -hmm. their brain uh he, he didn't didn't practice enough with their hand coordination and knowledge because i know people who know all of the goddamn muscles and their shape etc but they still can draw it quite well yeah. and i know literally three muscle names everything else is like that thing down there yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is shaped like this I, I i don't know the names for it um there's plenty of people who are way smarter in my opinion than me and i would consider them uh better than than me and a lot of people it's just their skill their fundamental skills ha have to catch up sure. so never my, my goal of of this uh of this topic is to just do not condescend like people do, do not be like, oh, I'm not going to talk to you because, you know, you got a long way ahead of you. Uh, yeah. No, treat them as, just treat them as equal. They're people who have uh, thoughts, they're people. Uh, good, good ones. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. people. You know what yeah. I mean? They might be fundament, uh, have their fundamental not, uh, not polished or not good uh, by comparison to yours. But in this industry... And I personally believe throughout ideas share more weight, good ideas share more weight than a pretty picture. You know yeah, what I mean? I agree. Yeah. Um, and that's becoming more and more true. Uh, as, as time goes by, there's way too many people now focusing on rendering my, myself. Um, I had to step away from that which is going to tie in with what you're asking me on uh, what keeps me going is because I change what I do. I don't really do what I like to call the Brad Rigney path <laughs> that I yeah. was wanting to take. Yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know Brad Rigney, he's like super, super realistic. realistic. Yeah. Yeah. Super for realistic. I'm too lazy yeah. for that. In fact, I, I take photos now. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, uh, well, he he uses two now, but uh, that doesn't matter. He could make the whole thing without without it, anyways. It's just a time saver. But yeah. um, I realized that there's a difference between liking to look at something and liking to to do it yourself. Um, and that's what I realized that. I, I'm getting a thousand likes for this thing that means nothing to me. That's where it mm -hmm. really hit me. Sure. Uh, I'm like, why am I doing this? Yeah, sure. I, not to toot my own ho ho horn here, but yeah, I can tell that it's like the render is pretty, blah, blah, blah. But 
why do I not feel anything? <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought yeah. I could, I finally got a thousand likes. Why am I not happy? In fact, I'm depressed. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Because you're not really putting your your you into that piece anymore. You're doing it either yeah. for the likes or for, um, you know, trying to up your skill. You couldn't. You shouldn't do shit for likes. Yeah. That's really the at the same yeah. time though. And also, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and also, uh, the likes and the fact that I thought I wanted something just because uh, maybe it was popular or maybe like it was so impressive to me that I wanted to get there. I think mm -hmm. it was more that than anything else. But sure, de definitely likes, etc. I got way too in into that. And I think everyone does. Yeah. Um, and uh, but regardless, me chasing Brad Rigney, it was more out of being impressed and like, oh, my God, a human can do that. Yeah. Without, like no, no reference or anything like that. I'm going to do that, too. And as I was getting closer and closer, I'm like, I only have more and more questions, no answers. Right. So what keeps me going is change. That's what I'm, sure. what I'm embracing myself more and more is change and not being afraid of, of social media because of the change. Because, you know, if we look at likes, whatever I was doing before, I could get 500 likes. Whatever I'm doing now, it can get uh, less than 100 uh, or 100 in a good day. You're in an awesome uh, place then. You're in a great position because, yeah. like, now you're doing more stuff that's... I am so happy like, now. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy now. Dude, with that's my, awesome. I couldn't give two... <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't give a damn whether I get I love it. Uh, a thousand. However... <laughs> If I do what I love and I can see the support, that's gonna that's gonna make me happy. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I get ten likes, I, 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 I am happy about those ten likes because what I put in there I genuinely love. That sure. is me in there. Right? That's so important. So I would I would suggest the reason why I'm talking about it is not just to show oh look how how much I don't care about social media. I'm so cool. Yeah, no, yeah, it's more like especially to the, to the younger artists, do you really, like I cannot emphasize that uh, more than I am right now. It's just do you really, really, it's super important. Sure, make your, um, make your skills better if you want them, et cetera. But just know that um, my statement is ideas weight more than of super well rendered uh, image and and don't let social media mold you because it's very difficult not to but as long as you're aware don't let it mold you don't let likes mold you I feel like a ton of people say that all the time I'm just one of one of the bunch uh, doing it too and You'll be fine because you do what you. One thing is guaranteed: if you are good, if what you produce is good quality, and you post it on a regular basis, because unfortunately, internet is is unforgiving. One week yeah. equals a month. One month equals a year. Yeah, yeah. It's like one day is like a year now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if the more the longer you miss, um the easiest for people to forget about you yeah. but just know that um there's ways around it around it post few sketches every day and then one uh finished product uh, or a finished uh, thing whatever it is that you're making uh, maybe a week or per two weeks and you can still be relevant there's ways around that what i'm trying to say is just keep pumping good work and as long as it is good work, you'll get following, you'll get likes. You have to trust that. You have to trust yourself and your ideas. Of course, your ideas will get better or worse yeah. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> uh, you, everyone has terrible ideas. Uh, no, no one in exception. But just know that skill, skill is in everything, in my opinion. You can be better at jokes. You can be better at writing can be better at singing you can be better at sure sure you can be 
better than most people naturally at something, but that does not mean that uh, someone who is worse than you cannot quote unquote surpass you, uh, whatever that means. But just know that everything is a skill mm -hmm. and you can make it better, make it worse. For example, a big one. Uh, John, uh, how how do you come up with how do you come up with things, John? How how do you mental uh, mental library? I can't see things in my in my mental library. It's it's a skill. I I was terrible with memory. I was yeah. terrible with my visual memory. Like I could look at something and then look away for five seconds and I forget how it looks like. Yeah, it's a skill. That's you everyone. can get better yeah. at. Yeah, it's, it's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy, but you can do that. Uh, you can get better memory in general. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, I think I'm overemphasizing the fact that uh, you can, whatever lack of skill you have, you can bring it up to a master, in my opinion. Sure. Of course. So. I actually did a research paper on yeah. this and uh... Even I, I study neuroscience as well, so mm -hmm. you can actually develop those uh, connections in your brain, which is uh, with more so memory in your hippocampus. So uh, what you're saying is scientifically correct. I think also in your like artistic journey, you kind of have these milestones for yourself. So I'm sure at the point <laughs> where you were, you know, wishing you were Brad, Brad Rigney, so to speak, you you kind of needed to push yourself to get to that more realistic level so that you could understand where you're comfortable and where you could, you know, um, sort of minimalize that detail and, and get to the core of what's really you. Like, I think what happens to us as artists is when we're little kids, we don't give a shit. And like you're saying, you know, you just draw Dragon Ball Z or you yeah. like just draw these crazy things like now, it, what's crazy is when I look at my sketchbooks from when I was like in elementary school and middle school, I was like, holy shit, how did I think of these things? Like, You're I would free. never be able to sit down and just yeah. like draw on a white blank piece of paper, like a hundred different creatures that just spawn from my mind in like a day, you know? And um, mm. you kind of get to this point where you're starting to learn and refine your skill, especially for this industry, because you need to have a certain level of skill in order to get work professionally, obviously. So you strive for that detail and, and, and yeah, getting to the point you're at, it's like this freeing experience where you can just understand who you are and you, and then you, you have the weight behind your name from your struggles growing that entire time. And, and that allows for more opportunities, you know, for personal work or, you know, work with other companies outside the realistic, you know, legends of the cryptids let's say something like that so i also have yeah. a question for you um outside of art because you know a, a lot of uh people who talk art or listen to artists um you really kind of zero in on that thing and something we also try to do is advocate for uh other areas of life yeah. you know that artists uh yeah. develop in so uh completely disregarding art in general and i know you touched on this briefly before but um, what is it that you enjoy doing outside of art? What are the things that, you know, if you couldn't do art anymore, would you do? And would you be passionate about? Yeah. Funny enough, I've done so many, like, I've done so many interviews. Oh, ah, interview here, interview there. I'm so popular. No. Um, <laughs> so many of them. And they. I always wanted to be asked that, and no one did. Yeah. Oh, um, look at that. I mean, eventually, event, eventually, I brought it there. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, saying the same shit over and over right. gets really boring. Yeah. Um, what do, so music. Right. Uh, it was a big one. Uh, more kind of recently, uh, in the, I'd say in the past two years or so, I've always had the thing for live streaming. Again, it all started from Dave. I didn't even know you could live stream. Mm -hmm. Um so I pretty much started live streaming when I was a noob down to uh, up to this point, of course, with a few years break in between. Um, when I came back to streaming, uh, I found out about Twitch uh, accidentally. 
<laughs> and I saw this other guy streaming, non artist gamer, uh, really funny guy. Um, I'm like, shit, this can be really fun. Yeah. I used to stream art, and it was it was fun. But it, can I can I do it differently? Can I can I still do art and make it different somehow? Hmm. So I decided to pick up Twitch, and uh, that's I I found a new love that I didn't know it existed. Um, and that's why I say, try as many things as you can, no matter yeah. what it is. Even if you think that you might not like that thing, try it anyways. Yeah. And when I say try it, I don't mean, uh, I'm doing this thing for five minutes. Uh, I kind of don't, uh, Invest. I don't like it. Yeah. Give it a proper try, yeah. you know, yeah. put it to test. If, if you don't, then you will never like anything. Anyways, so I gave it a proper try. I'm like, shit, I really like this. I really, really, really like this. And that's another thing I would like to do uh, mm -hmm. on a, on a um, full-time basis. Uh, if it's not music, then streaming, not art only. Definitely, I will want to include sure. that, but it could be anything else. Uh, it could be... Um, Especially Twitch now, uh, they're broadening their uh, horizons a little bit more. It's not just gaming, mm -hmm. um, but uh, I always, always been uh, uh, playing games. You know, like a lot of, a lot of kids were, um, and because of art, I never really got time. Hey, I'm in the, I'm in the art, I'm, I'm in the game industry, but I never really had time to play games. Funny, yeah. huh? <laughs> which is kind of crazy so, yeah kind of crazy <laughs> yeah um so I, I really would like to do gaming streams which i have and they're really really fun uh sketches yeah. uh as well and not not sketches is in art but like comedy sketches okay. that's something that's awesome. I, I always thought it would be fun i am terrible at uh comedy but I enjoy doing it, and it's so cheesy a lot of times, yeah. and not funny at all. And well, it's like a, it's a skill, like you said, you get better. Exactly. At it. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm confident. I, I just embrace it. Uh, I embrace the cringiness. I, I embrace <laughs> embrace the the that's bad awesome. joke because I know it, it will get better. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, I'm just thinking about like, I feel like I, I, going away from heavy illustration uh, heavy realistic illustration work i'm like you know what i'm gonna start doing stylized stuff mm -hmm. cool i don't care like like legit i'm just gonna do a new portfolio so i'm doing stuff for like visual development mm. um, i'm having a lot of fun uh i'm going towards more uh i wouldn't say riot i would love to do stuff for riot but uh, I wouldn't say that's like the end to all, sure. maybe like uh, one of the things I want to do. And I want to get more and more stylized, experiment a lot. And because of that, it allowed me to think about beyond art. I'm like, okay, so I can just use this mentality to do the same for Twitch. Yeah. You know, I, I know I can make a, a fun stream. I, I know I can bring something different to the table. Like, I, I feel that it just needs work patience, you know, dedication, and then getting better at it. Um, besides those two loves, well, I, I enjoy hanging out with my fiance. I, re I, <laughs> I, I think a lot of people wouldn't agree with me, but I do really like going outside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though yeah. I'm a lot, a lot inside. We love um, it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I spent really four do. months outside. So. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> You're definitely more the yeah. nature guy than me, yeah. but I do enjoy it. No, I, I do I do really like it. Um, even though many would believe that wouldn't be the case. <laughs> and um, gaming, like I like I said, uh, and just you know, I don't request much from life, really. Um, one of my dreams is to live in Japan. I mm -hmm. I did live in there um for for a year and i was nice. also going there on and off so that is one of my goals That's to awesome. go back in there um the reason why i could be there 
at the time was because I was working for Applebot oh. um, in their studio and then they got bankrupt, etc. And it's just difficult to have a visa in there mm. any other way. Mm. So I'm looking for ways to, to uh, go there. Not quite sure how to do it, but... Um, My buddy, he got uh, married, so he ended up being able to stay. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he was there for like 10 years before that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, one of the conversations was, um, uh, I'll, I'll marry a Jap like I'll, I'll pay for a marriage. Yeah. yeah. Japanese, uh, Japanese girl, my fiance will pay marriage for a Japanese guy. <laughs> and then we'll just marry each other when we get there. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. That's funny. Yeah. No, obviously we're joking, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Desperation is real. Let's yeah, just yeah, yeah. Could work. Is, <laughs> is she just as interested in uh in going to Japan <laughs> as you are? Sorry, she she yeah, yeah maybe she's, even she's... more than me. Oh, oh really? Wow. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Uh, it, we feel like it's um. Oh, that's one of my passions. Just hanging out in Japan. It's that's awesome. I don't know how to describe it in words, but we just feel like it's home home yeah, yeah it's yeah. your place it's one of those weird things yeah uh, that's how i feel about uh like san francisco and california yeah that area it's like right love it out there that's 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 awesome so i don't request much from from life besides that uh maybe some may think that's very uh maybe it's too much to ask but it's like once i'm there literally i can just hang out go to a park I don't know, go have some drinks. I wouldn't mind even just going having drinks with, with strangers because that's mm. how cool the place is. Everyone is super friendly. And, and you could you can literally do that and make uh, probably friendships. Uh, it's it's not a known awesome. for that to happen. And yeah, I, I like talking to people. I like talking yeah. to real people. Mm. Like going back to the whole networking thing, I really... Because, like, like I, talking about art only really bores me. Like, I'd rather yeah, talk sure. about, I don't know. Uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather rant <laughs> about loot boxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well dude, one, one of uh, Derek's and my uh, dream would be to... I think that's a great idea. Um, I'm sure that someone will steal the idea from you once once this uh, picks off. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. Hopefully because... so. <laughs> so maybe you should have not mentioned it. <laughs> well, but, we can uh, always cut it out. Yeah. It's fine. We'll just do it better than them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what you you know what you should do is just like, oh, we were thinking of, and then beep 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 beep, like all the, the oh all, my god, I might actually do that. Yeah. But yeah, the no lie. Minute, like we've we've been we've been discussing doing this for some time. Yeah. It's obviously a matter of like funding. You right. know, we we're not at that point yeah. quite yet. But yeah, like that's kind of our dream with this channel is to turn it more into a TV show for artists, and, as opposed mm -hmm. to just like tutorials and interviews and stuff. Because right. everybody does that. You know, yeah. we want to really so learn about the people. Yeah, and and that's what's most Hell fascinating. Yeah. I I support that, and I I know you can do it. Like, I have no doubts. I'm not saying it like, hey, you can do it. I'm super <laughs> yeah, yeah, positive. Yeah. Like, Go no, for you it. can do it. <laughs> but, but Go being... for it. Right. Yeah, I just um, think that would be awesome. And yeah. a great great learning experience and Hell just great yeah. entertainment in general. Because what i'm I'm sure you 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 know have the same sort of thing like when you go up to or when you're at a family thing or you're you know talking to random people and they're like, oh, what do you do? You're like, Oh, well, I'm a concept artist, you know, I work on video games, card games, whatever. And they're like, oh, that's interesting. So do you like draw on paper? You know, like these are the kinds of questions. Nobody knows <laughs> yeah. what we do. Yeah. So like sharing it with people that are like completely like people don't understand that when you go to see Thor, you know, there's a hundred artists sitting at computers, like rendering models, doing digital paintings, you know, sculpting, <laughs> yeah. all of right. this kind of stuff. So. To, to kind of like go out and just show people what we do like it's it's it is cool like it's a cool it's also cool important field. for the industry you know yeah where it only like helps it grow helping bring awareness towards pay and hours yep. and yep health care you know things like that it's, yeah yeah so i uh, my my advice um i've never done anything like that so I'll, i'm speaking out of order here but i'd say um my only advice is to make it natural. 
Yeah, you can have you can have ideas and you can like try to force an idea because in the end it would be like great. But if it doesn't work out or it naturally you guys see the response, um, you know you you could start as something serious and then just be something goofy at the yeah. end or have different stages of what that thing will be. So start with whatever your heart feels like and let it grow naturally based on the ideas that you that you have because one of the things that you can uh just the other day I was talking about this uh, on stream one of one of the things that one of the worst things you can do is force stuff because yeah. no one will tell you but they can tell they can feel they it. won't be able to it's it's like having a weird gesture and people are like i don't know i don't know what it is it kind of looks awkward it's the gesture stiff and I, like sure <laughs> Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, and they won't, they will not tell you. And sure. that is the worst part because you're like, well, if it's like that, why should, wh why isn't no one saying it? You know? Yeah. yeah I think and it's, it's just, also part of the reason people just don't even know how to articulate it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, and so people just flat out don't, most people flat yeah. out don't care. When, yeah. when I look at YouTube videos and YouTubers, for example, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to log, well, I am already logged in, but I'm not going to be type. I don't care about you enough to type out these words of discontent. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's a flaw, but it's it's a reality as well that a lot of people do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it makes sense. So whatever you make, and this goes to anyone else, I personally genuinely believe that let things go grow uh, naturally, right? You want to make sure. a comic? You want to make a... Uh, an IP, you want to make all these things that everyone wants to make. It might not be great in the beginning. It might not be great in the first 10 beginnings. Yeah. Just keep changing and organically have different different ideas. And yeah, the same goes about being as a person. It's like, not do not force someone you're not. Learn, if you want to be different, then learn to be different. But... As I like to say, I'd rather hang out with an honest asshole than a <laughs> fake, really nice guy. Yeah, I like that. I like that you too. Know? That might be like the little, That's going to be the, the headline for quote. this. Yeah, we put in the description. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that goes down to like the core of this like topic, though. Yeah. Just be yourself and, yeah. and try your best to understand who you are and that that will only help you i think that's so yourself. hard for people because so many of us uh have had so much internal conflict where you're trying to figure out who the hell it is that you actually are yeah you know yeah. And, it t and that's one of those things where it's a process just like art it, t it just it takes time it yeah. just takes time focus on who you are right now because you it's not done five years you're not going to be the same person probably right. Or that you're gonna be a variation. Focus on who you are right now, and and think how you'd want to be. Simply because we all have things that we want to be better at, probably, and just focus on that. You know. How, how about this? Um, if you had one thing that you could pass down to somebody, one piece of information, only one thing, what is it? that you would give them, whether it be a book or a movie or uh, um, just an idea. Do hentai and open Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, perfect. I'm joking. Uh, one piece of... <laughs> it's, it's, we're harping, uh, I'm getting, uh, I'm topic over and over, but it really is that just do you. Do yeah. what you truly enjoy and be as good as you can at it, and jobs will come. Do not worry, by the way. Uh, I think it's important to mention. The industry is not saturated. It is saturated by mediocrity, but not by greatness. Mm -hmm. If you're great at what you do, you'll have a job. I guarantee you that. Yeah. It's going to happen. But you are, if you're trying to compete for a job where you, you suck and there's millions of other artists who suck too, yeah, you're not chances of you getting that job is very slim but um yeah it. that's it's tough <laughs> yeah tough. Well, I'm sure we could tie yeah it. we don't we don't want to we already took like an hour i yeah. think of your time so, i just i want to ask perfect one, yeah. i want to ask one more thing though 
uh, and this is going back to like your outside passions and stuff. Have you ever considered uh, doing like a a self published uh, music album or something like that? Like just making a CD for yourself? Yeah, yeah. I I thought about dabbling in in music again uh, for fun because yeah. I, I I'm aware of how much time it consumes. But yeah, like <laughs> I still enjoy doing that very much. Because uh, now that that's really not. Just a pressure of like you know you need to do that to make money maybe again that that could be an outlet that you could put yourself into and it ends up being really awesome because there's not that pressure behind it Hell, de definitely thought. like i'd rather i'd rather if i had to pick i'd rather use art to fuel other things you know mm -hmm. use my work to fuel other other projects or whatever it is that i like you know and support that then turn each project or thing that I like into work. That's the least I, I want to avoid that as much as possible. I want to have one thing that I'm really good at that will bring a lot of income that will support uh, all the other things I enjoy because sure. it will never be the same. Yeah. It's like you doing work for someone is very much different than painting and drawing for yourself. And the yeah. same goes for anything else, you know? Yep. Once you turn that thing into a job, it's like, ah. So I want to avoid doing that Definitely. as much as I can. A really good um, rule of thumb. Hell yeah. 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 I, I enjoyed I enjoyed talking to you guys a lot. Yeah. It was a good yeah. interview. Yeah, thank you. Just... Yeah. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> didn't ask me what first, brushes like... I have. Is <laughs> that how your brushes? <laughs> I said, yeah, hey, you didn't ask me what brushes I have. Oh, and, dude, uh, I we don't, don't care. Shit about that. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we just want to know more about you, man. If you if you I'm want to sweating. send us your brushes to have people download them, we are more than happy to share them. Just send them a hard round. One hard round. <laughs> I want to I want to say this. Uh, do 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 uh, follow and be on Twitch. I, I okay, yeah, and yeah. stuff. I, I really like doing that a lot. What's what's and your Twitch handle so people can follow you? It's a uh, well Twitch uh, www dot twitch dot tv forward slash John Silva Art, and we'll okay. put it down here. For yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. Thing. and feel free okay. to feel free to send us any other uh, promotional yeah. stuff you want us to to share. Uh, I think that and, and Twitter. That's pretty much it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. that's good to know. Those two things. All right. So um, yeah. all right, let's Thank do you. our right. yeah. Thanks, John, for uh, talking with us, and I think this was really yeah awesome. Had a great time discussion. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Cool. We should the rest of a good day. Thank yeah, you again. Yeah, yeah. Too, Have man. a good one. Thank you again for coming on awesome. with us. Or you had a good time. We'll awesome. do this again for sure. All right. All right. Bye bye. All right. Thanks, man. See ya. Peace. Thank you for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe as it really helps us spread the word and create more content. Until next time. <laughs>